Pistol SP. A word in your ear. Look at that shite. <laughs> Every week. That's what 25 quid gets you. Own brand crap. <laughs> what in the name of Christ is forced meat? Forced to do what? Forced into the can, I suppose. Right, Blicky. Custard creams. What's a corner save calling them? Ooh, custard smoothies. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh. A whole one, smashed it. Oh. Morning, Jack, boy. Hi, morning, Victor. What are you all about? Oh, you're going to leave me standing here? Hey, no, I come on. Grab two tumblers out that sideboard, Jack, him a man. At this time in the morning, you banged your head. You took a fall. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I have a windfall. <laughs> I see that the hamper has arrived from Fortnum and Mason. <laughs> Shut up. Right, what's all this about the windfall? Ah, I'll tell you, Jack, but get your gums in this. That's the bollocks right enough, what is that? Oh, Porto Reserve, 14 year old, the Rolls Royce of Ports. Who'd you pay for that? 28 quid. 28 pound? You lost the bloody place. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, aye, aye, aye. You've got cancer. You've got the big <laughs> casino. That's you going out in style now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not got cancer, Jack. I've not got cancer. No, what's all about? See this? Kept me up half the night. And when I reveal to you its contents, you and I could be washing with feet in this stuff. Right. Show me. Take a seat. Now, every week, when we draw our pension, we religiously put a wee bit back. That's right, to bury us, eh? Mm-hmm. Now, much you reckon we've got in there? Oh, I wouldn't you know that. It's a long time since I looked. Well, I'll tell you, shall I? £1,050. £1,050. I've got a wee bit to go then, I. A wee bit to go? We, my friend, have overshot the runway. We're in the land of milk and honey. Oh. Because it's cheaper than we thought for a funeral. Nah, 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 that's right, Victor. A funeral's a dear thing. Aye, see, that's what I thought, Jack. I called the co-op. Now, a good funeral set you back about 1,500 quid. Mm -hmm. But a no-frills cremation. Oh, oh, oh. bye. Different story. <laughs> it's all here. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Ah. Pine. That's your key. Mm -hmm. No mahogany, no silver, no brass, no silk. What a saving you're making. Then you do away with the big stupid fancy urn to be retained. That's another massive saving. What are you supposed to do with the ashes? I don't know. Scatter them. The Garden of Remembrance. Who cares? You're dead. <laughs> Keep talking. Now, a funeral cortege is a hearse and one car following. Sorry. Well, I'm sad to say, Jack, but we do not need that following car. Who's going to follow? Winston? Eric? Bobby the barman? Oh, that's right. They can away and bloody walk. That's <laughs> another saving. Exactly. <laughs> right, what's the whole thing costing now? £750. Leaving the Bathias with a balance of three hundred pounds. Free money. Yeah. <laughs> May I? Oh, allow me. <laughs> three hundred quid. Can you believe that? You know, it'd be good to play a proper, good quality course, wouldn't it, Tom? What do you mean? You know, John Dix. I see what you mean. You get a mere peaceful game in Chechnya. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<clears throat> just play your way through, mate. We're just waiting here. Looks a Glen Eagles garden party. Mm. We shall meet. Nothing. <laughs> Nice. Ah, that'll do. Mm -hmm. Nice shot, Tim. <laughs> Jesus, what do you make of that? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a Lynx course now, is it? <laughs> Ow! Jim! <laughs> Jeez, oh, Jack, eh? A couple of ports in your belly and Craig Lang looks presentable. <laughs> You're joking. You'd need to be on crack to make this shit all look good. <laughs> Hello, Isa. Jack, but did I make to tell you? That's plenty. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, where is it? I've seen you stay about. I've never actually spoke. Keep moving, Victor. Just, uh, wondered if you needed anything, you know? Such as? A wee bit of financial assistance, maybe. We're no way you. Can it be easy being a pensioner? Gas bills, lecky, TV licence, I could help you with that. Ah, that sounds smashing, eh? You lend us the money, then you kick our spleens out because we don't give you the money back to time. <laughs> sounds great. Where do we sign up? Come on, Jack. I'm here if you need me. I think we're being a bit hasty wanting to splash all that money. Do you think we'd be better placed hood, don't you? I mean, imagine having to deal with that monkey. Aye. I had a lesson, Jack, you know? We saved that money up. It's yours. We didn't go to any money lenders before we had it, you know, and we'll, we'll not be visiting one after it's done. Aye, you're right, aye. It's a bloody miracle we were able to save that money at all. Look, aye, you only get the one shot. Let's be good to ourselves. Here, here. What are you going to do with yours? Well, I'm needing some socks. Socks? <laughs> you only have to be a wee bit higher than that, Jack. You're 300 quid, for God's sake. Aye, uh, yeah. All right, then, a hooker. Hmm. Now you're aiming a wee bit too high. Aim somewhere between socks and a hooker. Are you good? Well, I don't know. I just don't think we should eke it out to ourselves over the course of months, you know? Live fast for a week. Aye. Uh, live fast, I... Uh, old. Aye, kind of. <laughs> 300 quid to spend in a week. Yes, indeed. Oh, 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 oh. Bookies, clays, grub. Ooh, Marks and Spencers. Can we have jets? It's no lottery win. <laughs> oh, that's bastard. When it's done, you can't get it up. When it's up, you can't get it done. I'd have thought you were a bit young for the old Viagra, Bobby. <laughs> Winston, geese your part out. No chance. You've already humped my nine iron. Hey, right, Bobby, out the road. Bloody right, hang's lethal. He's got a wife at Zane. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> In here, Bobby. Could I please have two brandies and make them good ones? None of your rubbish. Brandies? Yes. And what of it? And after we're finished drinking them, we're going to go up the high street and buy ourselves some new togs. Oh, new togs, eh? The bingo must have been good to use. Get it up, yous. We're just treating ourselves. Yes, indeed, eh? How was the golf? Shite, thank you. Tom, come on, you. Ooh, who's that? Air rifle on the fifth. <laughs> I bet that doesn't happen to Tiger Woods, eh? I don't know why you bother with that course up there. Well, where else are we going to play? Just want another drink? No. We're going back up to finish our round. 
You are after your heads. You listen to me. We can't no finish we're round. What does that mean, eh? It means that we would have lost. To who? Two plucky wee neds? Nay chance. I'm not about to play the put-upon pensioner, skulking about in constant fear for my life. No, no. There's two types of people in this life, gentlemen. Those who use the front door and those who use the back. One time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obi, <laughs> can you use the back door that shuts down? <laughs> Winston. <laughs> Hello, Navid. Hello, oh, Isaac, sweetheart. Hello, you too. Hello, Jack. Victor. Where have you been? Poise of Partick. Do you like the new duds? <laughs> oh, lift your heel there, Jack. Yeah. Flash your white label on the sole of your new shoe. Do that, I'll never do. Ah, fantastic duds. What do you think, me now? Uh huh. Guni and the fetch and put a share a party. Eh, old duds. Classy. Now, what can I do you for? Eh, uh, two ounces of pipe tobacco. Done. St. Bruno. For your new pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me, Jack. You got lunch. Mm -hmm. <sighs> new leather, eh? Unmistakable. Yes, indeed. Pipe, expensive backy, wallet, duds. Would it be safe to assume that we have come into some disposable income? Yes, that's right, Navid. We are holding a bit of folding, yes. And today is a fantastic day indeed. How's that? My usual type of customer is pensioners, neds, snotty veins. You know, the manky mob, the rubbish people, <laughs> trailer trash, tornado bait. <laughs> Very rarely do I get customers of your caliber. Follow me, gentlemen. I want to show you something. Come away in. Oh, what's all this? Stock market live. All oh, right. Hey. What'd you do with that? You invest. Stock, shares, buy, sell. Oh, you should get involved. Ah, oh, give yourself peace. Would you take us for a couple of big city types sitting in millions? Uh, this is in the country. <laughs> nah, we're pensioners. Stock market's no for the likes of us. No, you're wrong, Jack. It's for everybody. It's like the bookies. Do you pick a horse? in the Simpsons a company, and you back it. And the beauty is, doesn't he have to win the race? It just has to run good. Mm. Oh, aye. Uh, well, what if your company falls? It breaks its leg and, and has to be put down. Uh, good point, Victor. Yeah. But you are the jockey, and you are allowed to jump from the horse at any time of the race. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right, Victor, you want to be going this? Oh, I fancy a wee flutter, aye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Vid. Give us that Chromatron UK. Uh, each way. <laughs> well, look, look at that. Right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. Come here, you, you wee bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what quality man money's that? I don't know, 50 or oh, something like that. Shut up, eh? Oh, geez, my boss back. What boss? My boss, that wee bastard keeps lifting. These are all my boys. No, they aren't. They. I know. Back by a couple of boys. 25p a ball. We're no buying our own boys back. He's one of these like, shitey golfers who's going to keep losing your boys. What would you know about it, you cheeky bastard? Aye. I could tan your ass for you. No, you couldn't. I'm golf daft, mate. I play half a 14. Ah, pish. I play half a 14. Right then, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll give you a game here on Wednesday. And see if you win, I'll give you this bag of boys. All the boys. Good boys, I know. Gonna stop saying boys. <laughs> <laughs> if I win, me and my pal here get to play this course in peace, and we keep the boss. All right. What if I win? Then you can continue to steal boss, shoot other players in the arse, and generally be wee fannies. Quality, man. Right, now that's a hundred pound. You know there's interest on that, don't you? Oh, I don't know anything about interest. Does it work the same way as a bank? Aye, just like the bank. Uh, so you're just really like a, a mobile bank, eh? <laughs> Aye, a mobile bank. A smashing son. Thanks. Sweet sherry, please, Bobby. 
what you fed, Eric. Oh, that's good of you, Isa. Take a lager. Lager and all, Bobby. There you go. You're a bit flush, Isa. Aye, I am indeed, Eric. This morning, I saw Jack and Victor talk to that fella here there. Oh, aye. Next thing you know, the pair of them turn up at Navid's. The brand new clays and wearing the best of gear and all. So who's the fella? He lends you money. <sighs> well, if Jack and Victor are dealing with America, it must be all right. Well, I suppose so. I might have a word with myself. It's your stupid pal, your caddy, eh? <laughs> yes, my pal Tam's my caddy. Good. That's my caddy, Gobo. Oh, hello, Gobo. All right. <laughs> right, I'll tee you off then, will I? What do you think, Tam? Well, there's a bit of a dug leg, there are a couple at the green. Ah, uh, you're looking at a four iron. Right. Yep. Oh, yes. Dug leg, you say? Which ain't terrible. I don't know, man. He's that metal one. <laughs> oh, quality, man! <laughs> Thunderbolt. Oh, thank you. That was smashing, wasn't it? <laughs> See, that's the thing about free money. It's no sore when you drop it, you know. <laughs> aye, aye. New clays, new wallet, new pipe. Fantastic. Ah, that's fantastic, aye. <laughs> you two are in a good mood. Oh, I mean, one after I put this one. Fifty quid on Dainty Danube, Stevie, my man. Oh, what's up there, Eric? Fifty quid? Hey, have you lost the bloody place? Not any worries. I'm drinking out the same fountain as you guys. I don't mind a drinking out of any fountain. What bloody fountain are you on about? The word with that money lend the fella. The guy that used to go to. Are you drunk, you daft bastard? We don't go to any guy for anything. Ah, you're trying to keep it hush, hush, eh? I get you. I used to tell me you got a few quid off him. She saw you talk to him outside Naveen's, then she tapped him, and so did I. Isa. What's the squad, Jack? She in? No. Lights out and all. Where is she? What's she doing? Isa! Come get a plate of this soup before it gets cold. What kind is that? Well, we still had a wee bit of money left, so I bought some royal game, best of gear. Baxters. What else? <laughs> <laughs> money lender and Craig Lang. That's the arse finally tore out it now. Wish the Christ she was in. Let me stop her for spending whatever it is she's tapped. Damage limitation. Oh, that's a sorry. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Hello, boys. You like my new coat? Eyes are your dozy cow. <laughs> Tap money off that money lender. Aye, just a bit. What's the hair minute? What's the hair minute? Money lenders are bad news, Isa. Who have you tell? Hardly anybody. <laughs> Wait there. Victor, get your coat. Geez, oh, you're awful busy. Aye. Wednesday? I think it was pie day. I was asking for change for the puggy as well. <laughs> Is that a mobile you've got, Peggy? Aye. Always man to man. 
He's got land too. We're on this thing called a lover's tariff. Makes it cheaper to phone one another. Oh. Aye. Means I can keep tabs on the wee who and maester. Two pints. Aye, that's it. Oh, that's nice. Is it new? This? Aye. Automatic. No batteries. Hey, Jim. Here's your specs. No need them, Bobby boy. Laser treatment. Steady now, Winston. This is for the birdie. How's ball bag looking? <laughs> He's emptied that whole flask of Thunderbird. That's the game. Where are we, cowboy man? Where a man make his shot? Cheers for that, Gobo. <laughs> It's Lambert and Butler. Shut up, Bobby. You're the only fag in here. <laughs> Get that music turned in. Right. Listen up, everybody. There's a money lender in town. <whistles> wah, wah, wah. Bobby. Oh, that's right, aye. What a bloody good laugh. A money lender spells the end for Craig Lang. You let him in, that's the whole thing knackered. He'll take every single cent out of this place. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be us completely portless. All right, Jack's right. They offer you a wee bit of help, eh? A quick fix for your problems. Aye. But that's all it is. A quick fix. Because before too long, he's got you exactly where he wants you. Doing a hole. Then he just moves on to the next place and starts the whole thing up again with another bunch of poor, unsuspecting, gullible bastards. <laughs> right. So who's tapped him? Aye. Come on. Peggy, you're looking after Red in the face. Have you had money off him? Aye. Much? £150. Danny, you've got six grand mains. Your boy's just lost his job. You took money. There's your glasses, Jim. 650 quid. Christ almighty, who else? I don't know what you're going to do. Because a hundred pound a day is two hundred pound the morning. And the day after that is three hundred pound, eh? And before you know where you are, it's the end of the week and you owe him a thousand pounds. Then the next week you owe two thousand pounds. Then the next week you owe three thousand pounds. <laughs> then the next week... That's plenty, Jack. Uh, but you know what I mean? <laughs> this bastard's going to want your guts for garters. What are you going to do when he comes calling? What have you gone to do? Jesus! I think I've broke my neck. Ah, well, it's no more than you deserve, you bastard, you. Right. How am I, bastard? Money lenders. Scum of the earth. Aye, right. right. they are, but that's no me. But you're saying you're no money lender. Well, I am, but I'm only charging 6%, same as the bank. Don't talk pish. I'm not talking pish. These are all pensioners, the bank, when he lends his money. 6%'s good. I borrowed a hundred quid. What would I owe you next week? A uh, hundred and six. Uh, what about the following week? A hundred and twelve pound, thirty-six. Ah, cats. That's... That's actually quite good, that yeah. is. Come on, get off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, Winston. Right, now he's got to sink that for a draw, then you'll have to play another hole. You'll never finish this. Look at the stadium. That's a 65-foot putt, that. <laughs> it can happen. Yeah. <laughs> I got made redundant a couple of months ago. And I thought I could either fritter away the money or get it working for me. I figures if you come in at a good, honest rate, you could undercut all the other tour rags charging fortunes. That's a, it's a sound plan. Mm -hmm. you, you want a pint, son? It's full of pint, my boy. You want I'll take it in there,
Well done. Now, get your gear off. Eh? Hey? Cowboy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice fellow, that moneylender. Aye, aye, he was a lovely fellow, aye. You see, you can't judge a book for its cover. Mate. Unless it's a scud book. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what you're getting, you're a scuddy. It was good having that money, wasn't it? Aye, it was a good feeling, having a wee bit extra to spend. But, that's it done now. Yeah. Hold on. We'll still get these shares we got half in the feed. When was it? Chromatron UK. Oh, aye, aye. Here, we'll get one of their financial papers tomorrow. See how they're getting on. Right, right, OK. Yes, I see, yeah. OK, thank you. Bye-bye. Swallowed about half a pun of son. Aye, me and all. A fox pitched in my hair, too. <laughs> when do you think somebody will find us? Well, it'll be soon. A lot of these golfers start early, you know. <laughs> Shh! What? Shh! Eh? Ah! I'm <laughs> sore. At least we've been found. <laughs> Quality man, another 25 pounds. <laughs> Help. 